Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to a new video. Episode 101, we finally hit um, 20k, which is great. And I actually put this one off just because of the Jang Jo Han scandal. So if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure you do. Let's just jump on into it. The first dramas that aired this week is The Scales of Desire. This one stars Guo Jing Fei and Yu Yi. This is a Tencent video Mango TV drama that has 40 episodes. It's a mystery and crime one. I think this is one of those dramas that actually also got shelved for so long and decided to drop only this year. And this is about basically the economic investigation division and just going after big shots who do crimes, of course, um, white collar crimes, but also dabbling into your typical crimes as well. Um, this one honestly doesn't have too much reviews at the moment. But based off of early comments, the biggest critique from this drama is that the first few episodes, you can tell like the quality of the dramas back then. I think they also finished editing this like a while ago and it just got shelved. And because of that, it just doesn't look good and it looks a bit off compared to other crime dramas that recently aired this year. Next is a drama called When You Be Me. This is a romance family supernatural youth drama and it has 26 episodes it's a web series that aired on mango tv and tencent it stars kido ma and cho yiran to sum up this is basically a body swap drama that takes place in high school so if you've watched any body swap dramas before you would know what to expect pretty sure it's just that um, mixed in with your typical youth romance Based on early comments and reactions on this drama, it's actually pretty good. And because there's only 26 episodes, they're saying it's pretty good as well. And especially that it's a more lower budget drama. The acting and everything is pretty good too. And then on May 9th, we have a drama called Lady of Law dropping. It has 40 episodes. This one stars Zhang Shu Ying and Liu Min Tao as the female leads. This is a law drama. I don't know if there's romance involved, but based off of tags and genre stuff that I looked up, um, there's no romance or it's very minimal. This is about two women who both work in the field of law. I think they're both um, lawyers and they have clashing views, but eventually they come to a mutual understanding as they work together to reveal the truth on a certain case. Now onto casting news. So even though there wasn't official announcements for Go to a Windy Place, which was a rumored modern romance drama starring Crystal Liu and Li Xian, they did spot them like filming and netizens took some photos, but I'm not going to put it up because they're blurry anyways. But super excited for this. It's a pretty refreshing synopsis too. I just hope that they don't um, drag it out for too long because it could be boring if they do. This is a journey following two people who start a cultural and travel business in the village of Dali, Yunnan. So we're probably gonna expect some beautiful shots, just regular pacing, I guess. The day-to-day -day life of the lives of the people in this village and they're probably gonna be some educational moments as well and obviously romance. And the next news isn't really drama related, but it's more like web movie. And usually I don't talk about these, but this one caught my eye just because I like the male lead casting and also the posters look really good. Usually they do for these web movies, but it was announced that Peach Blossom Origin starring Wei Jia Ming and Xia Bingbing premieres on May 5th on Tencent Video, WeTV. Not sure if this will be uploaded to the YouTube channel or just exclusive to the app, but it seems like it has a decent enough storyline and also Wei Jiu Ming is pretty good and I've never seen him in a historical role, so I might be interested in this one. It's a romance between um, a demon and a fairy. The next drama is You Are My Desire. This one has 30 episodes. It stars Zhou Yi Ran and Sabrina Zhuang. It's a romance school youth drama and it follows two people, a bully and a sweet girl who seems soft on the outside, but she's actually tough. This drama is currently filming and it actually gives me old school vibes, like a bully romance situation. You usually have the female lead who is just kind of naive and dumb, but it seems like based off of the description, this girl is going to be your stronger female lead who stands up to the bully. 
A drama that recently wrapped up filming is If There Is Time Left. This one is one I talked about a while ago and it stars Lin Yi and Landy Lee. This has 24 episodes and I believe it's based off of the same director who worked on dramas such as Put Your Head on My Shoulder and most recently The Lion's Secret. To be honest, it's a mixed bag because I see some dramas that um, are just okay and those are definitely his biggest works. Hopefully this one is good and it does seem like he has a good relationship with Lin Yi to get him back on this drama. But this is a friendship romance life drama. It's a college to working life situation. And it's about two people who met at a job fair during a summer internship and they fell in love at first sight but gradually you find out that one of them has terminal illness. So that's where the time left comes in, in the drama, if there's time left. It could be very beautiful, impactful, and meaningful. We'll just have to wait and see. On to other news. First off, we have the My Sassy Princess, which finished airing and the author of the original novel posted a long essay and basically some of the points said is that she had low expectations and she wanted to clarify that she had no part in any of the writing, the adaptation, or the production crew. Um, she just says that basically they bought the rights off and that's it. Um, Yuan Bingyan has flaws in acting, she says, but is cute and she doesn't really care or have a big impression of her. She also says that Zhang Yechang is okay as well, but his action scenes are good. She does kind of rant about it and basically kind of stated that she was displeased with the whole adaptation situation and she doesn't want to be linked to it even though it's based off of her novel. These remarks gave her a lot of backlash by fans of the two actors online and the author had to go online again and clarify that it was just her general thoughts. She didn't mean to like critique the actors or like harm them in any, any way. But basically she stands by her opinion and she hopes that people basically stop harassing her for this. And my opinion on the whole situation is Sure, fans can like rave about the drama or whatever, or they can also drag the drama and the fact that, let's just say, she was probably being hit up in the DMs or just being harassed if fans didn't like the drama. And then if they did like the drama and she voiced her opinion saying that like, yeah, she had nothing to do with this. She doesn't really know the actors on a personal term or anything they haven't met. And she's only had some impressions, which is just like their outside looks or like little clips of them online and was honest about her opinion. I feel like she wasn't out to like sabotage them. She just kind of wanted to put it out there that she wasn't involved, therefore like stop attacking her. But it was read like very wrong. And especially, I feel like you interpret a lot of things terribly, especially if you don't make a video about it, you don't see your facial expressions or your demeanor, like whether or not she was calm in it or if she's angry. Like some people can read this like her throwing shade. Or you can also read it as an objective opinion as the author, which I think she has every single right to put out her frustration, especially if she's being dragged about it. And maybe it tarnishes her reputation in the world of writing online. I don't know. I feel like Stephen King, who said that he hated The Shining or whatever adaptations, of his novel like he has his own opinion he can say whatever he wants and yeah a lot of people might feel some type of way but i feel like a lot of people really just go for these smaller authors and it really sucks i don't think that the novel's authors should be blamed for the critiques of the drama it's definitely a whole situation with like script writing pacing editing etc Moving on to who rules the world, the animal scandal. So there were a couple of concerning vids circulating around Weibo like I think a week, a week and a half ago about a horse falling off high heights and like similar videos where it looks like they were mistreating the horse. But they quickly went out with a statement and even the horse trainer himself went online to clarify the rumors. They said that this is a stunt horse hired by the company and the Who Rules the World team. They also denied that there was any um, abusive or harmful mistreatment of the animal on set because they're currently filming and doing other projects. 
Yeah, this has been a recent concern. A lot of animal rights activists and stuff have been kind of like going on sets themselves and I guess investigating these types of things. It's mostly a big thing in Korea and I think one of the historical dramas there, it was really terrible how they um, treated like cats and horses and things like that, which is like triggering a lot of fans to do their own due diligence, I guess, and doing their own little investigation. And the bad thing with this, like the good part is, yes, you can expose like production teams that are abusing animals just for a quick shot or whatever, like they don't care about the animal. However, the bad thing is sometimes like in Who Rules the World situation, you can see like one thing and it's kind of like out of context and then blown out of proportion, creating a big scandal. Either way, so happy they clarified it. Lastly, we have two rumors. The first one is that the Sweet Teeth co-stars Bi Wen Jun and Wu Xuan Yi are going to reunite in Tencent's upcoming historical romance drama called Long Life, Long Street. I think before this was offered to a bunch of bigger name actors. We had Wallace Chung, but then he accepted um, Emperor's Love with Yuan Bing Yan instead. And I think Gong Jun was also offered. Nothing is set in stone, that's why it's rumors, but it's always interesting to like catch these rumors and see how the process is and whether or not they swap out one person or both people at the end. And the next rumor is that the Four C's will be Cheng Yi's next drama and it will star Cheng Yi himself and Jin Chen or Gina Jin and this will be a historical drama. I think Gina Jin is pretty good. I've never seen her in a historical role though so I'm a little bit nervous about that. Cheng Yi is phenomenal. They said that the rumor start time to film is in June so if they do make a official announcement with casting and sometimes they even give us like some sneak peek photos of the outfits and stuff that'll be great i'll definitely cover that so make sure to subscribe turn on notification bells and i'll see you in the next video bye